Okay, so I had a request to replay, uh, to open up the side mirror uh, for my car, for the LX 470 or Land Cruiser. Um, and basically, I guess the person's having an issue with the gears in there and they want to replace it. But on mine, I know I have an intermittent issue with the actual window folding in. Sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. Uh, so I think it's more of a uh, end switch or something's going on in there that's not um, allowing it to reset. Um, I know if I pull the, the door, uh, the side mirror in and then back out, it'll sort of reset and then it'll work. Um, so I don't think it's a gearing issue, but we're going to take it apart um, and you're going to be able to see how to access the gears if you do need to replace them and maybe we can figure out what's going on. Um, for those people that are having the intermittent, intermittent issues like I am. Okay, let's get started. Okay, got this out of the car. Um, now we're gonna take these three screws out of the back. Um, you have three Phillips head screws here. Yeah, that shit's not coming out. All right, new strategy. Don't do what I just did. I ended up just stripping one of the uh, screws. So now, we need to fix that. Okay, chances are if you're, if you're doing this, you're gonna end up breaking one of these uh, Phillips heads inside the, the hole. Um, they're actually Loctited in there. So I, uh, I gotta try to get them out. All right, after uh, almost giving up a couple of times, I finally uh, decided to drill out that last uh, screw. One of the screws broke, one of them I drilled out, one of them I actually was able to get out. So I gotta go find these screws at uh, Home Depot now. Focus. This screw at Home Depot now. Um, as you can see, they used Loctite on it, so I guess they weren't expecting this to ever come apart. Anyway, uh, so you get this cover off here. Okay. Um, all right, so to take this mirror off, what you're gonna wanna do is push this down and it'll, you'll hear the clicking, you can hear the clicking. Um, and you're gonna go down as far as you can then you're gonna reach back here and it's gonna feel like you're about to snap this off But what you want to do is don't gently keep pulling at it because you probably will break something What you want to do is give it a quick jerk motion just yank on it and and you'll just feel it uh, uh, snap off and then you slide it um, out and uh, let's see, Yep, just like that so you just pull it out just like that and I'll show you inside what it looks like. You have these two clips that clip into here, there and there. Um, so this is, uh, the mirror's upside down right now, so it's this way. So you wanna push, bring it to the top, pop it out, and then slide it back. Um, and then it comes off just like that. Uh, then you have these clips, heating element for the heated windows, or the heated mirrors I should say. Take that clip off, just like that. And this should be a connector, yep, this is a connector. Cause... This is cool like that. And just pop that connector just off, like, just like that. And that's it. So now you have your mirror here, zoom out, you have your mirror, it's the back of it, your clips here and here, and this is the part that slides down onto here, onto these uh, sections. Alright, that's one part done. Um, if you wanted to protect your mirror, which is what I was going to do, Get some electrical tape or some masking tape or whatever and just cover your mirror up so you don't break it. Um, well, less likely to break it. It's 
slightly less likely to break it. All right, four screws in here. Take those out. Four screws out. Try to keep this stuff organized. I know it's hard, but losing these would suck. Alexa, turn all lights on. It's a little bit better. Okay. Down inside here, that hole right there, there's another Phillips head screw inside that, that hole right here. That hole right there, there's a Phillips head inside there. You have to undo that apparently to get the, uh, to get it off. And I have my screwdriver, it doesn't fit. Fantastic. Okay, so I managed to get this cover off. Zoom in here a little bit. So, there's this plug right here that goes into this opening. Pull that out, and that's basically connecting to this board right here. Um, sorry, it's a little bright. Uh, it's connecting to this board right here. So, um, so that's the board, that's the control board and everything. Um, the gears are in here. There's two screws holding that on. So I'm going to undo that now. Um, again, none of this can really come, the harness can't really come out unless you start pulling pins out and everything, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try to just keep it all together for now. I'm taking these screws out next. This cover right here, um, I took off by just pulling these clips back. Uh, they're really soft and it, brittle, I mean, um, so they can break really easily, just be careful. Uh, they're not really that important because the adhesive um, gooey stuff holds it on there, but anyway, I, I took this off, then the board was screwed down, the motor and gear uh, and board and everything was screwed down with three screws um, right here and one on the other side and then one down here. I don't want to move this around too much because the gears are still uh, in there and they're just hanging out. So let me show you what it looks like. So if you wanted to change the gears out you would basically right in there is one of the gears. So the motor turns that gear which is connected to that gear behind it so when this, when that gear spins, it spins the other gear behind it, which in turn turns the, uh, obviously turns the mirror, um, closes the mirror, opens the mirror. The motor is nothing, nothing special. It's a tiny little motor. Um, focus. There you go. So that's the, uh, that's the, gears on the motor see that so this is the gear right here the rest of it's just lube and stuff the other gear goes onto that um, shaft right there uh, so yeah it's pretty basic this is the board um, if you're gonna replace anything it's most likely gonna be the gears inside there that I just showed so this is the access to it um, I would just go through it, look for whatever gears that are worn down. All of mine look fine, um, so I don't I don't think I have a problem with mine. But I was just doing this for for someone. Uh, someone left a comment and they wanted me to do this, so I went ahead and took it apart. They can take a look at it um, and get an idea of how to remove that. It's not difficult. It's a little time consuming, you might end up breaking a few things, but 
it's definitely doable. Another one of these shots where I can move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. There you go. So now you can get a, get a better idea of how this works. See the teeth? It's actually a pretty simple gear system. The motor turns that smaller the motor turns that smaller gear right there uh, and then that in turn turns that larger white gear behind it uh, complete it. so it's basically like a, a differential and then that turns that worm gear right there which turns the actual uh, mirror and those are made out of uh, it looks like metal um, I don't know what kind of metal but uh, probably the a cheaper gear set. I don't think it's forged or anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to lubricate all this again. Again, like I said, I didn't have a problem with any of mine, but you might have some wear and tear on your gears and you might need to replace them. So, all right, I'm going to put this back together now. I'm going to grease it up and put it back together. Got the uh, assembly back together. I'm getting that, that one screw I was telling you about that goes through that hole, getting that in. It's kind of tricky since all I had was a flathead, but um, I'm sure you guys will have an easier chance. Um, to set it all up, you want to put maybe one screw uh, in here, one of these four screws in just to hold it in place sort of, and then screw that in. Uh, gearing in here, there's uh, all the gears and mechanisms that move the mirror. I just sprayed that down with some WD-40 uh, white lithium grease, um, and I also sprayed that um, in here all the gears, the worm gear and everything with white lithium grease. Alright, um, I'm gonna put the mirror back on and go slap this on the car. Again, to put the mirror on, there's, and I've shown this multiple times, but just so you know, uh, make sure you put the plug back in for the heater, the mirror heater. Uh, so, it's gonna be basically like this. That plug's going to go back in. This is going to lock into those two clips there. There and there. This is what this and this clip lock into. And they lock in and then you push down and you push here and here to snap uh, that and that onto that clip and that clip basically. And that's it, and that's all done. And then you can put this back in the car. Okay, I got uh, one bolt in there holding it on. It's gonna do a quick uh, retract. This one retracts. Hoping that side actually works too now. See? I hesitated a little bit. It's just sort of a, uh, just sort of shaking there. When that happens, I like to uh, just take it, go full forward. See if it works now. Sometimes that does the trick. Yeah, see? Now it's going in. It's just uh it's weird. I guess it's gotta like reset basically. So I guess it's kinda cheesy when it wants to work. Yeah, this, this side mirror seems perfectly fine. That side is still intermittent. Still only works when it wants to. 